everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matthew and this is Let's Talk Tools. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made this L-shaped sectional bench. So stay tuned and let me show you how we did it. All right, everyone. So we are first going to take these two by fours and cut them down to all of our uh, required lengths. So this whole bench did take 15 12 foot two by fours. Now, if you are gonna build this at home, you are welcome to use any size two, two by fours that you have on hand or that you're gonna go out and buy. Um, the cut list though is set up for 12 foot two by fours so that we utilize as much of it as possible and have as little off cuts in the end because, um, you know, waste not, right? All the cuts are gonna be down in the description. I will have a list of all the tools that I used for this. I did try to keep this to as minimal tools as possible just so that way anybody can do can build this themselves. Now as you can see I'm using a miter saw here. It's completely optional. If you want to use a circular saw go ahead. Heck even use a hand saw if you want. Uh, but I found the miter saw made this go a lot faster as well as getting all these cuts done first and then starting the assembly. So now once you get everything cut, you can start assembling. So you'll take two 63 inch pieces and secure five of the 24, 24 inch pieces with two and a half inch screws about every 21 inches. And that's gonna be your base. Now, after you got that done, you're gonna move on to the legs and armrests. So you're gonna take two 28 and 28 and a half inch pieces and secure a 27 inch piece on top. Uh, then you'll grab a 24 inch piece and secure it 18 inches up from the bottom. Now you'll take another 24 inch piece and secure it just under that first 24 inch piece that you put. And this is going to be where you attach your base. So as you can see here, we've got the first 18 inch piece, I'm sorry, the first 24 inch piece that we're attaching. And then just underneath it, you're going to orient a second 24 inch piece at an uh, perpendicular to that first one and that's going to be our mounting point for the base so to attach the sides to the base it is going to be easier if you clamp the sides on the base first get them into position where you want them before you start trying to drive any screws in so you can see here we have it clamped this is just a mock-up to see where we wanted it and then we drove screws in from either side so that way you have fastening strength on both ends. Now you'll take those six 63 inch pieces and secure them to the top of the base. I did take some scrap 2x4s and made some 1 inch spacers to spread out the top pieces. So to finish off this top section after you've got all these top pieces attached, you're going to take your last 63 inch piece and attach it to the back of the armrest. Now pocket holes are ideal, but they're not necessary. And now you see here, we got the sit test and now we're able to move on to the next piece. Now this next piece is gonna be our longer section of the, of the bench. And the only difference between the assembly is that you're gonna be using 84 inch pieces instead of 63 inch pieces. The uh, only difference is the 24 inch pieces will be 16 inches apart to make your new base for the longer section. Now, on the inside part of the bench or the part that's gonna go attached to the se short section of the bench, you aren't gonna have an armrest. So what you're gonna take is a 28 and a half inch leg and put attach that to the back of the bench and then you'll take an 18 inch piece and attach that to the front of the bench and those will act as your legs for that side of the bench. And now finally to get this thing finished up, you'll take a 85 and a half inch piece of two x four and you're gonna secure that to the top back of the bench. Now again, pocket holes would be ideal, but not necessary. I didn't have a pocket hole jig when I was uh, working on this bench and we still managed to get it to work. Now, 
Bring the two benches together to make your completed L-shaped outdoor sectional and admire the fruits of your labor. So this bench makes a great piece to any outdoor sitting area. You can add cushions to it, you can leave it as it is. However you want to set it up outside, you can make the long piece opposite of what we did. And it's, it's completely up to you how you want to make this. All right, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching to the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. It really helps my videos get pushed out to other people who aren't subscribed to the channel. And if you are enjoying the videos that I'm putting out, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that way you're notified the next time I upload a new video. But that's going to do it for this one. So we'll see you all in the next one.